205 pounds, Hector Lombard versus Kendall Grove. Very similar when you look at a lot of the facets here, weight the same, very similar records. The main difference is the reach advantage. Kendall Grove is a ginormous individual, huge reach span, wingspan, much higher, much longer. Hector uh, Lombard a little bit shorter, so it's going to be who can keep that distance. Can Hector Lombard get inside or can Kendall Grove keep it outside? Draped in the flag of his native Hawaii, Kendall Grove. 43 fights in his pro MMA career. 13 in the UFC, 9 in Bellator. And of course, he won season 3 of The Ultimate Fighter. 1-1 one one is his BKFC record. Chris Grove told us in our fighter meeting he's been working on standing more upright, more of a boxing stance than an MMA stance. He also said, I want to throw my jab more. I cannot let Hector Lombard come to the inside. Well, that's exactly what we were just talking about, distance. That's what this whole fight is about. Who's going to win that distance battle is probably going to win the fight. If he can stay on the outside, if he can continue to throw that two, finish with the one combination, he's going to be much better. If, if Lombard's able to get inside, he throws so much harder, he's going to land big punches. So it's all about distance here. Kendall Grove said, I can't get caught up in trying to outpunch Schechter Lombard. I have to be smart. I have to be controlled. He's going to throw big. He's going to throw heavy. I know that. I think I can frustrate him by controlling the range. It's all about it's all about distance and it's all about being disciplined. You can't fall in love. I landed two punches. I'm gonna throw this big right hand. You gotta keep working the jab. You have to throw the two at the right time and then get out, move. Don't stand in front of Lombard and throw punches. That's a crazy man's tactic. Hector Lombard, 47 fights in his pro MMA career, 12 in the UFC, fought twice in Pride, fought eight times in Bellator where he held the middleweight title. 22 of his pro MMA wins by TKO or straight knockout. And Lombard represented his native Cuba in judo at the 2000 Summer Olympics. Lombard, very respectful of Kendall Grove. He said, I cannot get stuck on the outside. I don't want to rush in. I have to be smart. I'm going to go back to what I did when I was in Pride in Bellator. I'm going to block. I'm going to parry, work my way to the inside, move between the inside and the mid-range. I don't want to clinch, which surprises me for a judo Olympian. Lombard said, that's where I want to throw heavy. Inside, mid-range, stay away from the outside and stay away from the clinch. Well, then when he said when he gets to that mid-range, he wants to throw those overhands. Overhands are going to be huge for him right there. Those are the punches, especially against a taller opponent. When you throw those overhand rights and overhand lefts, it seems to go over their guard and you're able to hit them clean. That's what he's looking to do is get inside, land clean punches, not stay on the outside. If he stays on the outside, I think he feels like he has a very good chance of losing this fight. He's not going to let that happen. To get our co-main event started, back we go to Jeff Houston. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the co-main event. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the bare-knuckle 205-pound division. Presented to you by Tiger Life, the cleaner energy drink. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears black trimmed in flames. His official weight, 198.9 pounds. He is an MMA veteran of 42 professional fights and holds a bare knuckle fighting record at one and one. Please welcome the Bellator and UFC veteran fighting out of Maui, Hawaii. Here is Kendall Da Spider. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black and gold. His official weight, 197.9 pounds. He is a true MMA veteran of 47 professional fights and is undefeated as a bare-knuckle fighter at 1-0. Here is the longtime Bellator and UFC veteran fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Hector! And our referee in charge of the action, Andrew Glenn. So often in combat sports, it comes down to range. Chris, this is one of those fights. 
This is an extreme example, I believe. This is uh, more so than any of them. Reigns is going to determine this 100%. All right, gentlemen, knuckle up. Round number one, and immediately Grove slides off of the scratch line. Black and gold trucks for Hector Lombard. Black and white trucks for Kendall Grove. Grove immediately parking long range on the outside. Grove took another up, shot there, but he's got to work on jabbing. He's got to work on moving. He can't just wait to counter Hector Lombard. Lombard, you see the body language, how confident in full stalking mode now. Kendall Grove on his bike down here in round number one. Still in trouble. Big shots in there for a second time in round one. Takes the count again from Andrew Glenn. Five, six, uh, seven, a little hurt right now. eight. Good to go. No three knockdown rule. I'm not sure that Glenn will allow this to continue if Grove has dropped a third time here in round one. Step in overhand right. And Kendall Grove needs to move to his left a little bit. He's circling right in the power right now. Just like that. Bombing shots from Hector Lombard. Kendall Grove wasn't able to stay on the outside at all. He wasn't able to get that jab going. Hector Lombard stepped inside and did something he wasn't able to do his whole first fight and just landed big punches. Kendall Grove protesting the stoppage of Andrew Glenn. Grove down twice, then down for a third time. Just taking massive shots from Hector Lombard. Chris, that's the Hector Lombard who I commentated in Bellator when he was the middleweight champion. We saw glimpses of that in the UFC. We did not see that in his promotional debut in February versus David Mundell, but we saw it tonight. Don, you agree? Oh, absolutely. Very early in the fight right now, he does a good job of closing that distance, and once he starts winging punches yes, like that, that and landing, even if they're not landing 100%, no, no, even if they're not landing the clean, he's landing one, hard right? enough because to hurt you. Because you know, where we are, he's in the main. So this is after Kendall Grove was already hurt. Yeah. It doesn't take nearly as much. A little glancing shot, that's it. In February, Hector Lombard and his BKFC, and indeed, the sport of bare knuckle debut. Defeating David Mundell, unanimous, unanimous go, decision guys, over five go. rounds. But he did not have the tenacity that he did in this fight. Hector Lombard came out single-mindedly determined to throw bombs, move in smartly, and as he told us, fight in that mid-range, fight in the inside, land heavy shots. Indeed, he did all the way to the finish line. Here's Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Andrew Glenn, steps in and calls a stop to the fight at 1 minute 50 seconds into round number one for your winner by TKO, Hector Lama. No animosity between these two fighters coming in, none going out, all respect. Lombard. Very clear-eyed, knowing that he had to execute his game plan. He knew the danger of Kendall Grove. Grove's reach, his range, he could not get stuck on the outside. Indeed, he did not get stuck on the outside. The winner in our co-main event of the evening by way of first-round TKO, Hector Lombard defeats Kendall Grove.